your mystery bird photo could be my next video. Watch to the end to find out how. Today's mystery bird photo comes from Terry Martin. It was taken on July 4th at Mill Pond near Randall, Washington. Thank you, Terry, for sharing this photo with us. Welcome. My name is Greg, and I want to help you improve your bird watching skills. Start, as always, with size and shape. What do we see? The bird looks small compared to the branches and leaves. The body is only three head lengths long. The head is stuck onto the plump body without an obvious neck. All these clues indicate this is a very small bird. The legs and feet are fairly stout. The toes are long and so are the claws. Three toes forward and one back on the same level. This is a typical perching foot. We can now say this is a perching bird. We've eliminated half the possible birds. The bill is short. The length of the bill from the forehead to the tip is about the same distance as from the forehead to the eye, half a head long. That's very short. But the bill is also thin, straight, and sharp pointed. This bill shape belongs only to a warbler, or perhaps pipit, gnatcatcher, or kinglet. What else do we see? The wings have a rather short primary projection past the secondary stack. We now see three things that are a bit unusual. One, the tail is angled away from us but appears unusually short. It appears forked and the individual tail feathers appear pointed. Two, the plumage, the body feathers, are unusually fluffy and loose. And finally, three, the corner of the mouth has a fleshy yellow gape. What do these three things indicate? This bird is a juvenile. It's only a few days or weeks old. It hatched very nearby. That's a very big clue. But what does knowing this mean for identification? Juvenile feathers are the first true feathers after the downy plumage. This bird will keep its wings and tail feathers for a whole year, but it will get new body feathers again in a month or two in fall. Then it will look more like the non-breeding adult. Most juvenile birds have a hint of their adult coloration and pattern. This is easier to see on males which are more strongly patterned than females in general. So let's look more closely at color and pattern. In this bird we see a gray-brown crown and back, but greener olive wings and tail. The underparts are pale, the throat is yellow. Most of the bill is dark except for the pale cutting edge and base of the lower mandible and the legs are pinkish. But as this is a juvenile bird, we won't put too much emphasis on either of these marks. Having paler bills and legs is not unusual for some juveniles. We see a thin, pale hint of an eye ring. It's certainly not bold. There are no wing bars nor any other obvious additional field marks on wings, face, or breast. The fact that this bird is so plain probably means that it is a female. It's hard to get an idea of behavior from a single photo, but we do see that this bird is perched on a small tree branch and is crouched down, not sitting up straight. We do get some habitat clues. The tree this bird is perched in is deciduous and appears to be an ash tree. Ash trees are usually in damp areas near water. We also get some habitat clues from the location name. Remember, Mill Pond. Thus, at some point, this was a pond at a lumber mill. Our final identification clues are for range and season provided by the photographer, early July in Washington State. Now we have everything we need to make an identification. We see an olive green warbler with yellow throat and white belly, faint thin eye ring, no wing bars nor any face or breast markings, breeding near a pond in Washington State. Terry said he thought this was a juvenile bird of some kind, but he wasn't certain which one. Good job noticing that, Terry. By concentrating first on shape, especially bill shape, we were directed to warblers and similar birds. That makes it easier to narrow down. Did you identify this bird as a juvenile, female, common yellow throat? Do you think I made a mistake? Do you wonder why it isn't a different bird? Let me know in the comments. We can discuss it there. Here are some of my own photos to compare. This is a very similar photo of a juvenile female common yellow throat showing the pointed tail feathers. Here's a photo of a juvenile male common yellow throat. Look at that hint of a future black mask. Here's an adult male common yellow throat. Those leaves belong to big leaf maple. 
Aren't they great? Finally, here is the adult female. The bird in Terry's photo will look like this next spring when it returns from Mexico. By the way, I took all these photos at Mill Pond, Washington myself in previous years. Did you see a bird you can't identify? Send me a photo. Even a photo from your camera phone is probably identifiable. Let me know the date that you saw the bird and where it was in the United States and Canada, please. And then make a guess as to what you think it might be. Send your submissions by email to absorbedinnature at gmail.com. That's absorbed.in.nature at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching.